If that's a snake, that's the smallest snake I think I've ever seen. Hang on. Look at how tiny this thing is. I think this is probably the smallest snake I've ever ever seen. All right, so right now we're driving this little back road, just a little simple gravel road, cutting through some pine farm areas, and uh, trying to spot some snakes. Today was a little bit warmer than normal, so uh, might have a couple out on the road. Spotting little snakes in the road is pretty difficult. Normally if it's something big, like a water snake, a moccasin, or a rattlesnake, it's pretty easy to spot. And I like looking on the edges too, to see if there's something just coming out on the road. Just, uh, Snake. I think that's a tiny snake. Let me see here. It is, it's a tiny snake. Uh, yep, yeah, it is a tiny snake. Here we go. Have a look at this little dude. So, this right here, oh, look at him. It's a little tiny decay snake. Have a look at that little guy. Now, this would be, technically speaking, an adult decay snake. They don't get very big. In fact, they rarely get a foot long over here. Now, another name for this snake is the brown snake, but there's a lot of different species across the world that are called brown snakes. So I normally like to refer to them as decay snakes. Ah, don't musk on me. This is a non-venomous species. They're really, really small, and they normally average under a foot long, full grown. Now, these guys eat worms, snails, little slugs, all kinds of tiny stuff. Now, this is one of the few snake species that will really do well in urban areas. You'll oftentimes see them in sidewalks, and even in the middle of cities, these guys can live, because they can live in between small cracks in the sidewalk, and any tiny patch of area where there's worms and snails, these guys can live. This is a snake that's really common in North America. In fact, they spread all the way up into Canada and all the way down south into Florida. They're a really widespread species because they can handle colder weather. In fact, even with this little kind of cool front that we've got going in this week, these guys are going to be active during that time, hunting or even looking for places to spend the winter. Really tiny guy, and you can see all kinds of little markings on his face right there. He's got really cool little markings. He's got a red tongue. And they're a non-aggressive species, non-venomous species, and just something that you'll normally commonly see here in Louisiana. And spotting them in the road is very, very difficult. These guys get hit by cars all the time because they'll just be sitting there and they look just like a stick. Uh, I stop for so many sticks, it's not even funny at this point. We're like, there's a stick. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a snake. So, uh, really cool little snake. And uh, we're going to let him go on his way. So, here you go, bud. Keep getting off the road here. Face you off the road and we'll wait for you to leave. If that's a snake, that's the smallest snake I think I've ever seen. Hang on. Bruh, look at how tiny this thing is. Do you see how small that snake is? Oh my goodness! That, it's like a little tiny baby decays that's skinny. He's a little thin thing, look at that. Oh my goodness. That, that, that's probably the smallest, I think this is probably the smallest snake I've ever, ever seen. Or caught, at least. Now, decay snakes, as we saw earlier, that was a adult decay snake we found down the road. And uh, that would be your average size decay snake, whereas this is a little baby. And I would have to guess that this wouldn't be a, uh, a newborn. This would be like a yearling or maybe even a half a year old. Look at how little he is. It's like a little stick. Can't believe I spot, he was so stinking tiny. Do you see this? That's hard to spot in the road. My goodness. Look at that little dude. Now one of this size, of course, same thing as the adults, they'd be eating worms, slugs, and little snails. That's these guys' main diet. And uh, similar to ringnecks, they like to live under all kinds of little debris. Very common snake to find. And uh, they're just a really neat thing to see, but I've never seen one this small. It's got a little skin problem right here if you look, like a little scab under his scale. And that could be either uh, a little under the skin parasite or it could be like a little irritation of the scales and that could happen when there's too much humidity. And around here it's like kind of swampy so that would make sense for that snake to get that here. And uh, normally after a couple of sheds it goes away. Now these snakes don't have any kind of venom whatsoever. They take down any kind of prey that they get basically just by force. 
just similar to uh, other colubrid species like racer snakes, they just grab the worm and they just kind of fight with the worm. And a snake like this, finding a little worm would be an all-out war because he'd be fighting little worms basically the size of him, which is kind of cool. Now these snakes, definitely a non-aggressive species and they spend most of their time underground and under debris and stuff like that. You'll find them in logs, under stuff, all the time. Now this snake actually gives birth to live young, I believe. You know, they're born really, really tiny and normally late, kind of late summertime is when they're born. So I would have to guess that this one is over a year in age now that I think about it because uh, he would be, he'd be really, really tiny uh, if he was born this year. Now, decay snakes are actually really popular as pets because they're really easy to care for, they stay small, and a lot of people think they're really, really fun to keep. I've never actually kept one before, but uh, it's just a little, very cute brown snake, and uh, a lot of people really like them. They're a widespread species, living in a very, very large area here in North America. Now, you'll mostly see these guys coming out at night, but you'll find them evening time, morning time, even midday. You can find them anytime, but they like to come out at night. You'll oftentimes see them at night on rainy roads. That's the best time to find decay snakes, is at night during the rain, out and about looking for stuff. They'll sometimes eat a small frog or a really, really small lizard, so it makes sense for them to come out during that time. Also, they get flooded out of their burrows during that time as well. Gosh, that is just such a small snake. Thinking back, I really do believe that this is the smallest snake I've ever found. Uh, it's honestly might even be a bump smaller than newborn ribbon snakes that I've uh, seen before, which is pretty cool. Well guys, I know it's nothing rare, but uh, this has been pretty fun finding a couple of really, really tiny snakes and uh, this, which is probably the smallest snake I've ever found. So, uh, pretty fun day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, I'm going to put him over there and we'll watch him uh, crawl off the road. Uh, I stopped for so many sticks, it's not even funny at this point. We're like, eh, there's a stick. There's a stick. <sighs> Stick. Rock. It's not a turtle. It's a rock. It's not a racer snake. That's a stick. Burnt stick. That's a stick. Stick. Everything's been a stick so far. <laughs> They're always sticks.